Hey, welcome. My name is Mary. Today I'm using this Nikita palette again. I've just been loving it so much. I can't put it down. So today I'm going to go in with the red color and I'm going to start building my crease first, but this is going to be my color, the red, the white and silver and the red and maybe a little black. We'll see how it goes. But I want to tell you, this palette is worth every bit, every penny that I paid for it. It is so nice. So let's go in with very light color to start and let's just etch out my my um, crease and let's see we can use one, these two maybe combined etch out my crease and then we're going to go with the red color we're going to go from the back in which is kind of unusual for me because usually what I do is I start with the inner corner first when I know which is not the way it's been uh, YouTubers have been doing it, but that's how I started doing it. But I'm going to change it up a little bit and, because I also found that I can't really put my foundation on uh, before I start anymore because what's been happening is I've been getting such a large amount of fallout because, you know, sometimes I forget to tap my brush and I'm, I'm not always the best with um, the fallout stuff. I'm just like just go from the brush to, you know, uh, another color and I get fallout. But anyway, let's go into the red here and let's start working it out in the outer corner. I'm going to tap off my brush a little bit. Can you see me here? And here this brush I have a, at an angle a little bit. I'm going to go into the outer corner and as you can see when you put the brush down on your face it really does have a lot of color payout now I'm just going to start beginning to blend this in a little bit and we'll see how it goes from here with the blending I don't want to dilute the color so that it doesn't appear red and it looks more purple I really want it to be red so let's see how we do and we're going to go in again right here Gonna see if I can make this really red here. I don't want to dilute it too, too much. And let's see, about the angle here, about like that. I think that's about as high as I want to go with it. But I do like it to be pretty red. So we're gonna just pack on the color here and, and really gonna great red right out of this. I like it. It's really a beautiful color. The whole palette is just, you know, there's such a variety of things you can do with this palette that it's really amazing. I keep looking and thinking, and at night when I go to sleep, I'm thinking about where I could put the colors. Because <laughs> it's such an intriguing palette. You could do so much with it. And I think what she did was she tried to uh, make it exciting like the um, the uh, what do they call them the video games you know the video games that are so popular she made it look like a video game and I love it that the colors are just so awesome I really love these colors see how I get fallout right there I got some already all right Oh boy, you can see how pigmented it is by me trying just to remove that fallout. I have oil here which does it in a really fast manner so that it doesn't um it so that it doesn't get all over. So the oil will take it up, pick it up for me really easily. Now this is as high as I want to go right here. I'm trying to match both sides so they look congruent here. Yeah, so they look alike. I love this red. What are you thinking? Oh, okay. I don't know if I want to deepen the outer corner with any darker color. I'm not sure that I'd want to do that yet. So, my oil is right here. And you know me, I love the baby oil from Albertson Save-On. It's the, um, 
Baby Oil Signature Care. It's really nice. It doesn't have a fragrance. So, you see, if you get a baby oil with a fragrance, it can be really irritating to your skin. So, I don't use one with a fragrance. I have to, I have to hunt and find that one. It has no fragrance. And I could put it on. I use it on my skin because um, a lotion doesn't do it for me alone because I live in the desert. And so, a lotion alone will not do that for me. So, I have to use the oil and I get it for a fairly reasonable price. I know body oils can be very expensive so I just use the baby oil and I think it's like three or four dollars and it's a pretty good size. It's a uh, 20 full fluid ounces. All right getting this off you can see how pigmented it is which is beautiful. That's why I was so drawn to it. All right, now I want to even it out because this side is just a tad bit higher. So we'll just go a little bit higher on this side. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to uh, work it out so that I don't have uh, such a uh, rough edge here. So you ever try to match two, two things? Sometimes it's can be kind of difficult. You look at it and you find imperfections and you want to go back and fix it. Anyway, the way to get this to not have a harsh line is to use colors to make it blend in. Now, let's see about this. Um, let's try the lighter brown in here and see if, if this will help it blend in. I'm just patting it along here because I kind of don't want to... Um, move it and have it be just moved instead of blended. Oh, that's working good. I'll show you what color it is so you know when you if you want to do this at home. Okay, so I went in with this color right here. Kind of like my natural skin tone, a little darker like if I was tan. So I'm going to just put that right here and what it's going to do is it blends that edge ever so gently. You wouldn't even know that. You see how it diffuses it so nicely? Oh, okay, so I'm gonna go and I have to even it out a little bit along the top here. I'm gonna go in the other side and that really works good, right? You see how good that worked to diffuse it out? That really did a good job of it. Alright, I'm gonna use a little less of a color and go up here because I think I had just a little more high up here than I did on this other eye. I'm gonna go in with this lighter color and just tap along here. Okay, now the thing I need to do and correct is this one has a wing, this one has the wing out, and this one I didn't go up far enough with the wing out, and that'll go right like that, and that'll correct that. Man, this is one great color. <laughs> oh, wow, I really like it. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a cut crease. And for that, I need my concealer, which I have right here. I have it ready for me. Now, I when I watch the girls do it, they kind of use it with a brush, and they put it on with a brush. So let's dedicate a brush to do the cut crease for me. Let's just get a brush that I can put the uh, concealer on. I think that one's a little too big. We got to get a really small, small brush, but like this, I think that'll be good. And we're just going to put the concealer right here on the brush. I'm just going to keep it on this end of the brush like this. I'm just going to, oh wow. I'm going to have to dab some of that off right there and right there. And I'm going to attempt a cut crease right here and right here. I'm going to move this up to give me the cut crease right in here. Okay. And I'm going to move it up. Oops, some of it got up in the red area, but we can fix that. 
It's what they call trial and error. You can fix it. Just we'll be patient and we'll get it fixed. Not bad, right? I got the concealer down. I think I want to add just a tad bit more. It'll take a minute to dry, but it's worth it. I want to go up here a little bit more. It's kind of hard. You really have to dab it because anytime you get into the brush into the red, it really wants to pick it up. It's such a luminous color. I think I need a little bit more concealer on my left eye. So we'll put some on the brush right like that. And we'll just dab it like that. Okay. All right. Okay. So it's going to take just a little bit for that to dry. Just a little bit. And I'm going to try a new foundation that I've never tried. It came in my BoxyCharm. I'll tell you a story. I've been missing BoxyCharm boxes. I missed one in the spring, and I had add-ons. I had $60 worth of add-ons on, and I never got it. So they refunded me my money, but I really wanted the things that I picked out. So then... This month, I'm like, I know I didn't get my BoxyCharm Premium. I just got my base box and kept looking and looking and looking. And one day, I was driving out of my garage, and I see underneath my, um, I have three garage slots. The one slot, I have a car parked there, and I don't use it very often. There's boxes. So I went and looked and occasionally I'll have my garage open a little bit because we um, have feral cats and my daughter's a feral cat feeder. So sometimes they come in and eat and we have water for them in there. In the summer they can use it as a refuge from the heat and they come in a little bit. But they really don't have a home. I mean call a garage a home somewhat. Okay. So anyway um, we leave it open a little bit and I found two boxy charms so far, and I'm thinking there might even be more. Uh, I just didn't have a long enough broom handle to go in and get them. I thought, oh my goodness, they're supposed to deliver these things to your home, and I get them to my garage. How is that? So I think what I'm going to do is, um, you know, when I thought about it, I thought, wow, is it my fault because I have dogs that bark and it scares the men? But there's no reason they can't come up and um, put it in the front porch and ring the doorbell. Now, I'm not sure it's a man or woman that did that. I've had some bad experiences. Um, the other day, not to make this be lingered too long, but the other day I came home and this um, Jeep was in front of me and they pulled right up to my driveway and pulled along parallel to it so that I couldn't get into my driveway and I had to sit and wait. The person that got out of the car was a girl, lady. She got out of the car with a package in her hand and she looked at me kind of annoyed like, what are you doing here? And I showed motion to her with my hand. I went to get into my garage, my driveway. Well, anyway, she got back in the car. She was kind of fuming and then all of a sudden, I'm going in the house and I hear her say, would you like your package in the, on the front porch or would you like just me to hand it to you? And I'm like, what? Yeah, so she had a package for me. So I took the package and, you know, of course you start thinking, wow. But I don't know who did it. Someone dropped my packages in the garage with no notice, no, no doorbell, nothing. And so I was missing them for months. And in fact, they even sent me a replacement for my boxy premium the other day because I called them and I said, you know, I don't find my premium box. I'm, I'm hoping I'm not, you know, getting a little bit forgetful, but no, there's no box here. <laughs> yep, that's what happened. So, you guys, if you're ever missing a box, remember my little story here, you know? 
You never know where it could be in the most crazy place, right? All right. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I want to do a white, but then silver. So let's start packing the silver on in the middle. And for that, I'm going to not take any chances. I'm going to spray my brush a little bit. I'm sure the silver would pack on there without the spray because it really is a great, um, really is a great um, color and it has a lot of payout. I'm sure it would do it without the spray, but the spray just is like an insurance policy. It'll make sure it comes out. And look at that. Oh, whoa. Okay. And I just have to tap it because that red is absolutely full of color. Okay, that's the gray on one eye. Let's come in a little bit more and we'll do it on the other eye. But anyway, holiday season is coming. And um, I haven't been out shopping because I don't want to go out and catch COVID. And I'm, you know, I'm scared, so I stay in. And I do whatever I want to do, I try to do on the internet to be safe. I do like going to the stores, you know, it is kind of a nice outing, of course. But aside from working, I just don't go. Um, very many places except just going to the grocery store to get the food and that's it. All right, now, geez, that came out really nice. Now I think I can use this same brush. I'm just cleaning it off. It's still a little wet. Yeah, let's go in the inner corner with the white. Oh, I love this white. Oh, I love this white. Where do you see it? It's just luminous. It's so beautiful. Oh, I just love it. Oh, I just love it. I just need a little bit more on this corner. Don't be afraid to get a lot of powder on your brush. You may get fallout, but sometimes it's better to put a lot of powder on and get it done once than to keep going back in and in and in and try to get it on. Just pack your brush as much as you can just to get it done. Especially when you're going with a color like this because you don't want this color to um, get in the brush because it's going to it's going to win because it's a dark color so it's really going to win here and change up your there there it goes now I just need a little more white in here and in the inner corner okay a little more white right here just to make it a little more luminous I really like how I got the right eye full of it let's see if I can get the left eye really full of it too there it goes Wonderful, that's great. Ooh, now I gotta blend that up there and blend it in here. Yeah, oh, nice. Really nice. Now, somehow I gotta take a small brush, very small brush, and go back to the red. And you see what I need? I need to combine this in a fashionable way that it looks natural. That does it for that eye. A little bit, just a little more. Now let's do it for the left eye and just get it to combine over here. Trying to match them both as I do it. It's coming out really nice. Just being a little bit careful here. To have it match both. What I love about this eyeshadow is you can really get the shadow to go where you put it. It's really great. 
Now, let's see. Uh, it looks like I gotta go back with my brush and I need to uh, help out this gray a little bit. Over here and over here. All right. Another thing I think I need to do to help it out is there is a color in here that is like, um, it kind of like enhances everything. It's this one with the little pink hue to it. It just enhances everything, but I don't know how I would get that up. See how it enhances it? All right. Now, I'm just going to try with my red brush just to have it just match really good both eyes. Oh, I really like this color. I really like what that's done. One, what do you think for a lower lash? What color? Huh. Well, it's not, I don't think it's going to be red. That will look crazy. Uh, I don't think it's going to be silver. That would not show up. Hmm. So, let's think about that for a minute. We need a color for the lower lash. Um, we could do the white. I wonder how the white would look on the lower lash. Let's try a little bit of white. Oop. Let's try just a little bit of white. Oh yeah, that's kind of got a neat dimension to it. And you know what I can do? I can add um, eyeliner to it. This is coming out pretty. Hi. Yeah. Great. I think you're gonna have a little um laugh. Let me see what I got for you. Okay. Okay. It's food, so guess. Can you guess what kind of food it is? Candy. Okay. It's something you've talked about before when we were really young and we came out here. What do you think it is? It's food. Okay, but what do you think it is? Food. Mm -hmm. I always talk about it, but... And is it something you eat with dinner or lunch? After dinner. Oh, after dinner. Cookies? Okay. Yep. Cake? Yep. Oh, something Italian? Okay. I found this Dollar General. Oh. Dollar the street. Look what it says. I think you're going to get a laugh out of it. Sock it to me? Sock it to me Yeah. Cake. Yeah, sock it to me cake. I said, this is mom all the way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll have it for tonight for dessert. All right. Yeah. I told most that's a lot, but did they have the longest line? Like Dollar General will do that. Oh, that my goodness. Is it Amber's, mom? Yeah, um, let me turn this off. Okay, I put my hair back and I got my lashes on. All right, so now I'm going to try this new K-O-S-A-S. It's a foundation and it's liquidy. It's very, it's a, a foundation oil and it's very liquidy. I've never used this before. As you can see, it drips really fast, but look how nicely pigmented it is. Wow. And it really goes over your face quite easily because it's an oil. How nice is that? I'm being really careful not to get any of this red pigment mixed in because it is so um, full of color. If I move too much, it will be absorbed. I don't want to be have it be absorbed. I'll clean that up. I'll use some um, concealer to clean that up. But this is nice. Look how nice it looks on the skin. Look at that. Really pretty, right? Oh, that came out nice. I don't know if you could use your beauty blender because I don't know if the beauty blender will absorb most of the liquid before you get it on your face. I'm not sure of that, but you can see how I got a little red pigment over here. So I'm careful not to get it into my eye look. Okay, and then up here, 
going to just put some of this foundation. As I showed you, it's very liquidy, so you have to kind of maneuver it quickly so it doesn't drip and fall. But, wow, what an innovative idea. I mean, I think it's a great um, way to put your foundation on, and it feels so nice, and it's an oil pigment. It feels so nice, really nice. Now, I think I got on most of my skin here. I do want to put a tad bit on this area right here and right here, but I also want to avoid the red and not get that under in, into my face oil here. Okay, so there it is. That is really nice. Oh, uh, it's really nice. Oh, really nice. Now, that's got to dry, but until it does, let me go ahead and just put my concealer on. And we got my lashes, concealer. All I have to do is my blush and bronzer, and I have a little red lipstick I can use with this too. Now, um, I have the tiny little sponge to go in here. See if this, oh yeah. Oh, that goes in really nice. Wow. Goes in really nice. I'm tapping it just easily, ever so easily, so that I don't um, get into the red pigment. But wow, is this a pigmented, it's a very pigmented eyeshadow palette. And I will be using this a lot because I can do a lot of colors with it. And I'm really enjoying the color payout that it has. Now I'm going to take a very nice clean little oval and I'm just going to pat this like this so that all the pigment is pushed in and not um, loose. Okay, it's all pushed in. I don't want to. I want it to look even and clean. So it's kind of hard to do with this pigment because it really can disperse on you. Okay, now as you can see, what I need is I put a little bit of the red on the bottom lashes. And I'm not so crazy about that color, so I might go in and put something lighter over it and see what we can do. And let's go ahead and do some blush and bronzer. Now for the blush, I have it right here. My bronzer is so, so nice. This is the Yensa bronzer. I'll just go in here and pick some up and put, oh yeah. So, so nice. So, so nice. I like this one. I really like the payout that it has. I like the color it makes. It produces a really nice brown color. You can even use it as a blush if you like. It can be your blush color also. All right. I'll fix my hair when I'm done and we'll bring the bangs back down. Okay. I think that will do it. Now we can always use a powder bronzer over this. Yes, okay. And then let's go into my blush and I'm gonna mix this pink and this pink. A little bit more pink than, oh yeah. This is a good color because what it's doing is it's um, making the look of the eye not as stark. It's kind of blending it in with it, and it's not looking as stark. And I like that. It's coming out really nice. Really nice. I really like that. I'm going to just try to blend out this bronzer and blush a little bit more on my forehead. Wow, I really like this um, foundation. I thought it was really good. Going back in with the darker brown on my bronzer just to give it another little pick-me-up here 
and that looks really nice I think gives me a little bit of a definition on that line and up here bring it all together so what I think I need to do for this I do have a um, little lip um, I have some lip liners but I'm going into these boxy fire lipsticks that I got and I have a red one and I thought wow the red will be perfect for this look okay Belle we're going for a walk just a minute babe Let's see how it comes out on the lips. Mm. All right. It's very creamy. It's really a nice lippy. You can see I missed one spot right here. Mm. Oh, okay. Mm, that's a beautiful lipstick. Now, for the eyes, I'm going to go back in for the eyes, and I'm going to try to make my color, the lighter colors, pop a little bit more. Oh, yeah, I still have to do um, a highlight color, and I do have one in my little, this is the face palette I got in, just don't want to think, I think it was... Oh, that one's pretty. The beige is pretty. Let's put that one on. Oh, yes. Oh, my. I'm going to have to go back in with my blush a little bit more. But this is a really interesting highlighter. It has a lot of color. Even though it's beige, it comes out with a lot of color. And I kind of like that right there. It just highlights the eyes. All right, now one more thing I need to do with the eyes is I want it to look a little more, how do you say, um, lit. I want the white to show up a little bit more. And even though I did a cut crease, it didn't really show up that much more. So let's go in with the white and see if we can get it to show up even more, the white. There, that's a little better. And maybe, um... Let's see, maybe go over the gray just a little bit more. That's much better because that's showing the gradient a little bit better now. And I wanted to show the gradient and see that, show you that there is really some rich pigment in this. Okay, I think that makes it look a lot better. All right, and one more thing I think I could do to add to the colors is to go in on the lower lash and put a color that would kind of minimize the starkness of the red. What do you think would do that? Let's look. Mmm, wow, that's coming out nice. Okay, let's do um, the darker brown and see how that looks or we could go in with this orange color. I wonder how this orange color would look. No, it just, just looks like the red a little bit too much. Let's go in with the darker brown here. And you can see that. There we go. And just bring it up like that. Really pretty. And then this eye will go over with the darker brown. And I think that kind of makes it more definition and it's not as red as it was with the red under there. It's much better without the red. Getting a little bit of fallout again, so we'll see if we can just pick that up and yeah, scoot it off there. That's good. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to take this um, brown color that I just used and I'm going to be a little daring but I want to deposit it on my inner corner a little bit like right here just to build that up a little bit and back here a little bit got to get a good amount on the brush to get it to do that, to cover this, um, covering this white is 
a little bit tricky. All right, and then right there, and I better leave it alone because what I'm finding is I'm getting too much fall out, and I kind of don't want to lose my look at the end because of the fallout. Yes, and I just want to sweep a little bit on my, just a tad bit on my lid to make my eyes pop just a little bit more. You see that, how that makes it pop just a little bit more? I know, it's a very bright color for a, a, an older person like myself, but I really am kind of liking it. All right, so running out of daylight. Okay, wow. What an interesting look, huh? I think it's really pretty. I saved a Q-tip so that I could go in and um, catch all these little oops and, you know, fix them up a little bit. But anyway, how do you like it? I love it. I think it's so pretty. I think it's so pretty for the holidays. And did you know you could wear red? Really interesting, huh? So, just gonna bring my bangs back down. Yeah, my bangs back down and fix my hair a little bit. All right, wow. Wow. Oh, I'm speechless, what do you think? Okay, I really like it. Hey, so this is Mary saying, I hope you enjoyed the Sunday afternoon with me. And I hope you come back and watch for another video, okay? And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe, okay? I'll see you next time.